Thank you, Lee. Thank you, thanks for being here. Uh, my name is Lauren Service, I'm a local pianist, and I'm just thrilled to be here with all of these wonderful musicians on stage. Um, when Lee and I first started talking about this concert, my first thought was, that's brilliant. All 10 play Corvallis play pianos on one stage performing together. And then my second thought was, that's crazy, <laughs> because the logistics were just mind boggling. There were so many elements to figure out. So the first challenge was to find repertoire, because without music, you can't have a concert, right? And uh, I quickly found that there is no published music for 10 pianos. So that was the first obstacle. <laughs> so, and as much as I would have loved the challenge of arranging something myself, I was unable to find the time to do so during the school year. So I started looking for any piano ensemble music. And it kind of became a treasure hunt. I found lots and lots of music that did not work. Um, I found some music that did work, but it was, it was too easy or not very interesting or not very fun. And what we really needed was music that would take advantage of 880 keys and 100 fingers. We needed music that was accessible for pianists of all musical backgrounds, but still challenging enough to be fun. And we also needed music that you, the audience, would enjoy. So pieces started popping up, and thanks to the Kios, Alfred and Boozy and Hawks publishers, we can perform this program for you today. And we will be playing on 10 different pianos, music that has been arranged for two, four, and five pianos. So the next knot that we had to untangle was how can we prepare and rehearse together? And we really lucked out because I was speaking to my colleague at the OSU Music Department, Dr. Steve Zelke, about this project we were working on. He said, come rehearse in Benton Hall. Because in Benton Hall, we have a keyboard lab, which is a classroom with 12 keyboards in it. So without that, we couldn't have practiced together. And this would have been our first time together. So a big thank you to Steve Zelke and the music department. All right. And the final but most crucial element was to find pianists. And um, up on the stage, you'll see soloists, chamber musicians, accompanists, classical pianists, jazz musicians, teachers, and students. And um, aside from the fact that they're all very fine pianists, the other thing they all had in common is that they gave a very enthusiastic yes when I asked them if they would like to participate in this project. So um, I'd like to introduce them to you now. Uh, to my right, we have Cassie Fry. And then we have Lucy Watts. Over here is David Service. And we have Jill Hickenlooper. Over here is Bryson Scar. And next to him we have Rebecca Richardson. Back in the corner is Joe Lake. On the pink Market of Choice piano we have Catherine Louderback. And last but not least, we have Aubrey Patterson on the Beaver piano. All right, well, we've had, we've had plenty of talking, so let's get to the main event. Uh, we are now going to perform a special arrangement by Pat Holmberg um, of the Allegro con Brio from Ludwig van Beethoven's Symphony No. 5. Thank you.
Thank you. 
Thank you. I'm sure that Beethoven never, never dreamed that his uh, work could be <laughs> performed by 10 pianos, but I like to think that he would have liked the idea. Um, all right, so next we have another familiar tune that I'm sure everybody knows. Um, this is from The Wizard of Oz, and this is Harold Arlitz's Over the Rainbow, arranged by Melody Bober. One of the great things about coordinating a concert like this is I get to make other people play the music I like. So um, one of my favorite musicals of all time is Leonard Bernstein's West Side Story. And you may have seen the preview video of us practicing this in the piano lab. Um, so now we will be doing four selections from West Side Story for you. So these are selections, four selections from Bernstein's West Side Story arranged by Carol Close. Thank you. 
have two pieces from Pat Holmberg, who is a musician in Boulder, Colorado. And the first piece that she arranged was the Beethoven. And the second arrangement of Pat Holmberg's is our next piece. And when I found the piece and wrote to her, I emailed her and asked her for permission to use her piece in a public performance. Not only did she very graciously give us her, um, her permission, she said, I used to live in Corvallis <laughs> back in the 70s. So, she, this is, so this is very special for, for her as well as us. So this is an original composition by Pat Holmberg, Summer Sun. So you can't have a piano recital without a little Bach. So we are going to play an old chestnut for you. You've probably heard it um, at weddings, in film, on television, maybe while on hold with your dentist's office. Uh, but right now we are going to play Johann Sebastian Bach's Yesu Joy of Man's Desiring, arranged by Mac Wilbur.
This next number is going to be our last piece in the program today. Uh, when we first got it, I think we all looked at it and got a little scared. It is, <laughs> it's, uh, it's very busy and it has lots of um, pianistic fireworks in it, which is very appropriate when you hear what the piece is. And at our first rehearsal, I told the group, if we can't get it up in t to tempo in time for the performance, we'll just do the stately version of this song because stately sounds better than slow, right? So, but we spent a lot of time, a lot of time together and separately working on this piece and uh, it's, it's come together and it's a lot of fun for us. So thank you for coming today. And for our final piece, we're going to do another Mac Wilberg arrangement. This is John Philip Sousa's The Stars and Stripes Forever. Thank you.